Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will cover saving, exporting, and printing files in Surfer. Saving a file will save all aspects of the plot document so we can open the file in the future in order to view or modify it. As with most programs, clicking File, Save will save the file to the same name, format, and location that it was previously saved to. Click File, Save As to open the Save As dialog, where you can save the file to a new name, location, and format. There is one Surfer project file format you can save to, Surfer Plot SRF. The SRF file format is a project file, which saves the maps and all grid files, vector files, image files, and data files internally. Changes to the internal files used to create the map will not update the map automatically. To update the map with new data, you need to either click the File Reload Map Data command to reload all the external files in the project, or you can select a specific map layer and click the Open File icon next to the file name on the General page in the Properties window to select the updated file. Likewise, changes to the data in Surfer's internal worksheet and changes to the grid file in Surfer's Grid Editor document window will not be automatically saved to the original file. You will need to click File, Save to save the changes to the original data or grid file. The surferplot.srf file type is backwards compatible with all Surfer versions 16 and newer. In addition to the surferplot.srf file, you can save SRF files that can be opened in each previous version dating back to version 11. New features are not backwards compatible. So if you have features in your project that were not in the version you are saving back to, those features will not be present in the saved file, and so your maps will look different when the saved file is opened. Click Save to save the file. If you wish to send your map to someone who does not have Surfer, or if you need to insert your map into another application, you can use the Export command. To perform an export, click File, Export. In the Export dialog, as with the Save As dialog, you will set the file name, location, and format. Surfer supports exporting to a wide variety of export file formats, including raster images like JPEG, PDF, and TIFF files, ASCII data files such as CSV and DAT files, and vector files like AutoCAD DXF, as reshape file and golden software boundary files. Unlike the Save As dialog, there are three additional options at the bottom of this dialog. If the box next to Selected Objects Only is checked, our export will only contain the selected objects, which in this case is the map on the left side of the page. We will leave this unchecked so our export will contain the map and the profiles. If the box next to Show Options dialog is checked, an Options dialog containing additional settings will appear once we click Save in this Export dialog. By default, this box is checked. We will leave it that way. If the box next to Current View Only is checked, the exported file will look just like the view we see in the Plot Document window. This option is useful if you would like to zoom into a specific region of the map without changing your map limits and scale and export just that zoomed in view. We will leave this unchecked. Click Save to proceed to the Export Options dialog. In the Export Options dialog, we can set the export options for the specific file type we've chosen. These will be different for each file type and can be viewed in the Help. For this TIFF image format, there is a Size and Color page containing information like pixel dimensions, document size, and color format. There is also a Spatial References page, since this map has a coordinate system assigned to it. Here we can choose which map's coordinate system to use for the export, and what type of file to save the georeferencing information to. We will check the box next to Internal File Format to export a GeoTIFF file, and we will also check the box next to Esri World File to generate a TFW file when the TIFF file is created. The third page, TIFF Options, contains settings for just the TIFF file type. Click OK and the TIFF and TFW files are created. In addition to this more traditional export, 
you can export contour lines with no color, fill, or labels to a DXF file, a 2D or 3D shape file, or an ASCII text file. To do so, select the Contours Map layer in the Contents window, click Map Tools, Layer Tools, Export Contours. In the Save As dialog, you will again set the file name, location, and format. For this export, there are four options 3D DXF file, 2D shape file, 3D shape file, and ASCII text file. The 2D shape file exports a 2D polyline shape type where each vertex along the line contains just an X and a Y coordinate. The Z coordinate for each vertex is stored in the DBF file. The 3D shape file exports a polyline Z shape type where each vertex along the line contains an X, a Y, and a Z coordinate. The Z coordinate for each vertex is also stored in the DBF file. Click Save to generate the DXF file along with a GSR2 and a PRJ georeferencing file. The Z values of the exported contours are displayed on the Info page in the Properties window for each polyline once the DXF file has been plotted as a base map. To create a backup of a file before saving, click File, Options. If Backup Files Before Saving is checked, checked, a backup copy of an existing file is created before saving the document. Check the Save Auto Recovery Information option to periodically save changes to a temporary file that is automatically restored if Surfer closes unexpectedly. Specify the number of minutes between auto recovery saves in the auto recovery save interval option. Surfer also has the ability to print to any Windows supported printer or PDF printer driver. If you need a paper copy of your project for your records, or if you would just prefer to generate a PDF in this way to send to a colleague. To print a project, click File, Print. In the Print dialog, the printer section shows the available printers in the name drop-down list. The advanced properties for the selected printer can be accessed by clicking the Properties button. On the left is a preview of how the page will look after printing. The preview will automatically update each time an option is changed. In the Print Range section, you can choose to print the entire plot document window or just the selected objects. Selection will be disabled if you don't have anything selected. In the Printing Method section, you can choose how the printed project displays on the page. The four options are Truncate, Fit to Page, Tile, and View. Truncate prints only the objects that are within the page borders as defined within the Page Setup dialog. All objects outside of the page will be clipped. Scale can be used with the Truncate method to increase or reduce the size of the print. 100% is the actual size. 200% would be twice as large, and 50% would be half as large. Fit to Page reduces the size of everything in the Plot Document window until it all fits in within the page size, as defined within the Page Setup dialog. Tile splits the Plot Document window into multiple pages. When this option is selected, the Overlap section becomes available. The combination of Overlap and Scale determines how many pages the Plot Document is split onto. View prints only what is showing in the Plot Document window. This is similar to the Current View option in the Export dialog, in that you can use this to print a zoomed-in view of a portion of your map. The Copies field allows you to choose how many copies you want to print. Click OK to begin printing. This concludes the video training for saving, exporting, and printing a file in Surfer. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.